Welcome today to Germain's uh, Emporium. Uh, today I've uh, selected to talk a little bit on some of the leather work I do uh, here at the Emporium. And uh, we can start with some of the basics of it. Uh, I've uh, been doing this for about 25 years now and uh, brought just a few items out to display uh, some of the items and the tools that I use to uh, make these items. Uh, you notice that I have a little conventional holster here that I make for the little semi-auto pistols and uh, to do this we take a, a basic uh, probably eight nine ounce leather here I'm working on making a custom knife sheath out of this leather here. It shows you the raw leather. Uh, I usually take and make my own patterns for these guns that we make. I cut out a rough sketch and then when I get the rough sketch in I finalize it with my final breakdown and I usually cut out from that sketch a heavier cardboard pattern. Now this pattern I use to put over the leather, draw my pattern design onto the leather to transfer it, and then I take my head knife is what this is and uh, we cut out the pattern through the leather. Uh, once we get the pattern through the leather then what I like to do is uh, if you want to stamp designs or anything like that uh, I usually use a heavy marble slab where I can stamp designs. Uh, here's one that I make for a uh, old Slim Jim holster and a butt line. I did it in the old cowboy style with the concho, uh, some just light border tooling on it and uh, you notice that the dye is different. I, I use dyes that I mix myself to dye my leather these colors. And this is nice antique rusty Cordovan brown. Uh, once you get it set, there are some things you need to do to do the edges. Here's a conventional holster I made for the, the Judge by Taurus. And you can slip this on strong side or on the left side cross draw. You notice that there's some little tools here that you've been watching that you take to edge the sharp edges after you cut it. This tool will concave the edges. That's uh, what we use. And then when you get ready to do some stitching you like to cut a slight groove indebting into the leather and then you come and run a marker so that you can cut your holes for your stitching and uh, you'll notice the stitching on here and here is the saddle stitch string that we use for that to stitch the project together uh, notice this one is dyed in saddle tan uh, to get the form to fit around the item I use a dealer antler and I use that to form the leather around the item so it fits perfectly. Uh, once we start to stitch I use a uh, double harness uh, saddle needle and uh, I use two of them and uh, I pull off enough string I double it four times the length that you're going to cut that you're going to stitch and then I put both needles uh, on each end uh, and then what you do is you take your item and you start double stitching saddle stitching with two needles your project which is nice and they always say that uh, guns and leather go together I hope this gives you an idea of some of the stuff that uh, might, you might be interested in. And thanks for checking in. 
We'll talk to you later next time. Bye-bye.